Hello, are you trying to learn how to test your application? If yes, this is the tutorial you are looking for. After watching this video, you will rock unit and integration testing in Spring Boot using Spock framework. So buckle up and enjoy the video. We have three different types of tests, unit tests, integration and end-to-end -end tests. To quickly describe those, unit tests are fast and are focused on one method. Integration, on the other hand, are slower and here we have to build application context. Last type, which is end-to-end -end tests, are the slowest and most of the time include graphical interface. So let's start with the most basic one, which is unit test. I have created some example project and we will start by testing this simple calculations method. This method accepts an array of ints, sums them and return this value. So let's go into our specification file. As you can see already by the structure we have two different types of tests. Unit test, which name consists of class which we are testing and specification. Integration test, the same, but we also add IT. Every test should be annotated with specification and here let's define class which we are testing. Spock has special annotation for this, which is subject. Now we specify example service, we create object of this and our example service require a dependency of dummy service. As you can see in this example service, we have handled dependency injection of this service by constructor. To learn the difference between constructor injection of dependencies and auto wired, go and watch this video of mine for better understanding. So to finish object creation of this class, we have two ways. We can create an object of this dependency, or if you don't need this, you can just mock it. Let's pass this into constructor. And now let's start with creating test cases. We create test cases by defining a method with word define. Now in the quotes, we tell what this test case should do, for example this, and here we have three main sections given in which we define the input, let's say, nums to sum. After we have defined input, in one section we call the method which we want to test. And last, in then section we assert the expected result. Our result in this case should be 9. Let's run this and see what happens. Okay, our test got passed without any issue. Let's see what happens if our result is different. We are getting an error saying that condition is not satisfied and here we clearly see what went wrong, what the result was and what we wanted to be. This is one scenario where we have three variables to sum. But let's say you want another one where you have four variables and later let's say you want another where you want to sum one negative number. You could copy and paste test cases, but Spock has great functionality for similar test cases. This functionality is called unroll. You annotate the whole test case with this and now we can get rid of given. We leave our when and then section and at the end we define another where and here we define first variable which is nums to sum. After straight pipe we define another. For example, if this method would accept two parameters, you could do that without any issue. And after you have added all the parameters you wanted, there is a rule that you separate with double straight pipe expected result. So let's define some nouns to sum. First, let's have just one and two. And the expected result should be three. Let's swap this nine with expected result. And now you can add as many test cases as you want. I will add another one to see what happens in if empty array will be passed. And let's also see what happens if I pass minus three and minus four. Result should be minus seven. And let's also check what happens if I then add five. Result should be two. Now let's run this one. And as you can see, it was properly resolved in separate test cases. That's awesome. We tested thoroughly this method. And now let's move to this update one. To test this update method, we'll use integration tests. For integration test, I have created abstract class which extends specification and here we are telling to run this application, create the context and then we'll perform all of actions. At first, let's auto wire our example service. It is also a subject of our tests. And if you remember, this example service 
had a dependency of dummy service. Spring with is will create this dummy service and inject it in the example service. But what to do in situation when some dependency cannot be created? Well, you could mock it, but how to do that? To mock this dependency when Spring starts, you have to use Spring bin annotation and here you tell which class and just mock it. And as before, we define test case. Here in the given we will create this complex class and sub complex class. Next, we can try to use this update method and then we can do some assertions. Our example service, this update method, should change only test field of sub complex class. So now I would like to test all of the fields that stay the same and only this test field is changed. We could do this by doing result.getName equals and then your expected value and do this for all of the different types like for let's say get sub complex class dot get name and so on and so on. But you could also use this great closure which Spock provides. It is called with inside braces you pass the object that you want. We want our result curly braces and now you can simply use it to reference this object or you could also just call field which we have and assert some value. So here it should stay the same which is test and next I will add another with closure past the sub complex class because it is also a complex type which has two fields open curly braces name should stay the same and test should be changed probably to hello. You also might have noticed that I am using double equals for comparing the strings which in Java would be bad and we should use equals for this but here in Groovy and Spock it is okay because it is not comparing if this is the same object. Okay so let's try to run this test. As you can see it takes a little bit longer because context has to start and our test did not pass because test was null. Well we have mocked our dummy service so it didn't return this hello. We should have defined what this method from dummy service should return. Well, to do this, we just do dummy service dot method that we want. If it has some parameters, you could use a white card symbol, which is this underscore. In my case, it doesn't have any parameters required. And then you use right arrow and the result that you want to be returned. Let's say I want to return mocked method. And now let's assert this rerun application. And as you can see, our test passed without any issue. If your method has more invocation than one inside the whole test, you could use chaining, which is you add another right arrow. And here inside an array, you define in order what should be returned. And that's all. Let's move into testing our endpoints. This test would be the most complicated one, but I will show you that it isn't actually true. It's pretty easy. Here inside this controller test you just have to auto wire mock MVC and move into creating your test case. As in the previous one in our given closure I will define, actually I will copy from the previous test because it will be exactly the same. I have defined the input that we want because our example controller has post mapping with request body complex class. Let's also auto wire object mapper and now in the when section let's define the response from the controller and by using mock MVC we do perform mock MVC request builders which method that you want post what endpoint next we define content and here we'll use object mapper write value a string next let's define content type we close the parentheses and now we can already define some assertion that we want to expect mock mvc result matchers status of the response should be 200 which everything went well and after that we want to return response and content as string right now our response will be string but we also could do object mapper dot read value our string and after that our class which you want to parse with then we simply do assertions so i will copy this as well from the previous one and just change this test to have string from the dummy service let's also not forget about annotation of auto configure mock mvc because without this object of mock mvc won't be created run application and as you can see it worked without any issues. For practice, we can also test our get mapping. It will be much simpler than the post because we won't have to write content and the type. So let's do this. Should properly 
get complex class. Now we can remove this content. We change the method to get. We can remove this given section because we don't pass anything. And let's see in the controller what the values should be. Test, test sub, and sub, test sub, and sub. And also it got passed without any issues. And that's all. With this, you will write test in Spock with ease. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, click a like button and consider subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.